In plain daylight and wearing bright construction vests, friends Mark Patterson and Bob Nichols set out to install what would become a controversial art piece in Encinitas. They told an inquiring firefighter they were taking measurements underneath the Encinitas rail bridge on the 101. But in reality, they were installing colorful tile mosaics that would form the surfing Madonna, portraying the Virgin of Guadalupe on a surfboard surfing a large wave with the words, Save the Ocean, spelled out. Controversy over the art piece grew. It was the imagery, the placement, and the permission the anonymous artist failed to seek. The artist, Mark Patterson, was forced to reveal his identity. The message that she was delivering uh, from that, that wave was save the ocean. And I think that, that message in particular is the focus for me of what the mosaic was intended to represent. In an interview from 2011, Patterson told KPBS he assumed the railroad owned the pillar and the art piece wouldn't pose a problem. To me, it looked like the perfect frame for the mosaic. And that's what really called me to it. Alas, the surfing Madonna had to be removed from the rail bridge, and it took a couple more moves until it found its final destination. It is now on display on the back wall of Lucadia Pizzeria facing Encinitas Boulevard. Of course, we're mourning the loss of Mark Patterson, passed away just not too long ago. He did so much for the world and the community. He, he did great things throughout the world, really. He was a, a, a noted artist, but this is his one famous piece, his first incredible piece. He knocked it out of the park. Mike Redman is the vice president of the Surfing Madonna Oceans Project. The nonprofit organization was created following the fame of the Surfing Madonna Mosaic. The Surfing Madonna Oceans Project has gone on to do all kinds of great things for the community. Uh, they put on the world's largest beach run, uh, the Encinitas Half Marathon, and of course our special needs surf camps throughout the summer. These surf camps get kids in the water who normally wouldn't get there. The organization also holds art shows that support clean oceans a legacy born out of a spontaneous gift of art. It just blossomed, as we may know, it's got worldwide attention. I don't think he had any idea what was going to happen. Despite Patterson's death, Redmond says the legacy of the surfing Madonna will live on, and he invites the community to its forever home. I want to say, please come check out the Madonna. Uh, uh, bring books, bring books. We need books for the Little Free Library. Um, and please come check out the Madonna. A celebration of Mark Patterson's life will be held at Lucadia Pizzeria on Sunday from 2 to 5 p.m. Tanya Thorne, KPBS News.